What is going on, Adobe Live? Welcome back to Adobe Live. What is popping? We have Clever Annika Cody Bear for Cody Bear. Uh, we have Laura, and of course, we have Alexis Bustos with here with us here today. What's going on, Alexis? How are you doing? What's up, everyone? I'm doing great. Man, it's yes. good to be back on the stream. It's nice to be back. We have fire in the stream ready for today. So, Alexis, listen, I'm gonna hand off the mic to you for just a moment, but today, guys. We have some amazing interactive card game mobileness to get into today. I'm not going to steal any of Alexis's thunder. She's going to explain exactly what we have in store for you for these next two days. But I just want to say hello to all of you guys in the chat. And if you're on YouTube, come on over to Behance. We have some links for you guys to come on over. And uh, Alexis, what are we rocking in today? Some background for our audience about you to, you know, give us some background. Let's, yeah. let's hop into what we have. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I'm Alexis. I'm sure. Uh, I don't know if uh, if you've joined the stream before, you've probably seen me host a couple times. Uh, chat, it's good to be with you. Please let me know if you have any questions for me. I love you guys. So uh, what we're getting into today is I'm just going to do some really awesome prototyping and creation of a card game. We can we can totally get into it. Oh, why not? Uh, let's do that. Uh, first things first, let me do a quick brief intro of me, you know, a little, a little formal, you know, chat, I know you're a uh, chat. I know you're coming in from all over the world at all different times. So just a quick hello. I'm Alexis. Um, a little bit about me. I'm live in the Bay. I'm over in Oakland. I love to travel. I love to play music. I love to be just creatively stimulated by living in kind of like the best, best place in the world. I think I'm from here as well. Um, and so that's a little bit about me and my background. I went to California College of the Arts. It's a big shout out to the formal design education. I know that becomes a topic of discussion. Feel free to kind of have a little discussion if you want chat. Should you go to school for design? Should you not? Eh, let's talk about it. Um, this was me in school. It was very, very painful, a lot of late nights. Um, currently I work as an interaction designer at a uh, consulting um, group. It's called STAR. Um, check us out. We're awesome. Uh, all over the world, we have remote offices um, and we do a lot of great work, mostly in digital products and a little bit about me and what I do there. Uh, we do, I dabble in UX and product and interaction design. Uh, my true love is research, but currently this is what I'm doing and I love it. And it's awesome. I'll skip, continue on. Um, and like I said, you can typically find me here with some awesome, dope, guests and now i'm on the other side so that's me in a nutshell uh but what are we doing today and why are we all here mm -hmm. yeah, i don't know why are you guys here you're just like hanging out are you guys working are you listening are you just like i'm gonna tune in today are you learning let us know um but right now we're gonna talk about we're not really strangers so something that's really inspired me in the pandemic has been um uh, card games, but also TikTok. So I was on TikTok a couple months back, like everybody was, and I came across this account um, called We Are Not Really Strangers. And I was like, these are cool TikToks. They're kind of weird and like alt and moody and kind of like self care y. I was like, okay, what's this? Found their Instagram, realized it's a card game. Sweet. Passions collide. Let's talk about it. So I got this card game. And it's pretty dope. If you guys haven't checked it out, check it out. We are not really strangers. Um, you know, I love you guys if you're watching. This is not a coll cross collab. So this is all just kind of me giving you a shout out. But they come little cards, just little red cards. And what they are just asking individuals, the, the motive of the game is to basically share yourself with a stranger. And let me just go here because it's kind of fun to see. Right, and they have different card games, and I'm like, this is awesome. And a lot of the a lot of the things they talk about in these on these cards are things like, you know, how are you really? And I was like, this is this is awesome. This is me all written all over it, and it's really all about just kind of diving deep and getting to know someone. And it's structured like a game. And but the one thing I noticed, I was like, this is great. This is great. Physical card game. Who doesn't love that? I'm all for it. I did notice there's no pairing app, which could be completely intentional by brand. Um, but I also thought it was a really cool opportunity to play around with, play around with cards. And then, you know, Adobe Live is around. Let's see if we can do a cross collab. So that's what we're gonna do today. 
that was a long winded what we're going to do today, but we're going to do that today. We're going to create a mobile experience for this physical card game that has already a really great presence online, already does a lot, lot of great things um, and totally, totally could have been intentional to not release a mobile, a mobile pairing, but we're, we're going to do it because, you know, free country and, and I'm inspired. And when you're inspired, I'd say that's when you should do stuff, right? 100%. Right? And I, it's kind of a, it's how I live. Um, so yeah, it's great. So I took on, so I'm in XD and that's where we're going to hang out today. Our little, you know, working board. Um, what I did kind of first and early on is kind of gather some, some inspo, you know, like I'm, I'm checking out their Instagram. I'm seeing what they're about. I'm, you know, I bought the game. I'm playing the game and I'm kind of the, seeing what attracts me to it what are some elements of this game and of of this brand that really want to come across really could be brought across and so i've noticed it's a simple game right at the end of the day it's a simple game we're talking like uh it's a card game so i started playing with some like interaction models uh what you know what have i seen cards do on a screen fun fun stuff but what i really noticed was it's all about sharing really it's all about people talking to each other that's that's awesome how do we capture that in a mobile experience and that's kind of where i'm at currently and so we're going to go through these next three days two days going through what my process of thinking is to create features for this mobile game so it's not just going to be flip a card here's a card but i want to bring in some like of these amazing elements to a, a handheld in-person game into a mobile experience i want to see what that feels like and i'm going to bring you along for that the ride. It's going to be messy, especially today because it's the first day. And then it's going to get a little, a little better looking, but it might end a little messy because that's the end. At the end of the day, design's messy. So that's uh, I don't know if you guys have seen my streams before, but when I'm a guest, it gets a little messy, and I think that's fun. Messy streams are good. Messy streams. We get to see the process. We get everything is like a mistake up until it's like, oh, okay, that looks good. Exactly. <laughs> that's exactly. how the process is. Yeah, I'm. I'm no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no Howard Pinsky. I can't bring out those designs beautiful day one. That guy's a that guy's great, but I'm I'm pretty messy. Um so so yeah. Sound good? How's the chat doing? Sounds How are you guys? How are those fellows? Chat is ready. They are excited. They are first off, there's a lover, not a lover. There's many lovers of games. There's talks about Diablo. Um, mm -hmm. And they're excited to kind of see. First off, I'm excited. You have the flow already for us. This is way more than if I were a guest. I would. <laughs> anytime <laughs> I see a flow, I'm like, they did their homework, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so um, we have something we're, to work on. Yeah. So we're excited. And out of, out of curiosity, Chad, how many of you guys have played a mobile game? Because I absolutely love. I, I and I would love to know about this with you, Alexis. Yeah. Um, I'm very much a lover of mobile, like group. Like, I don't even know what to call it. Group friend play. I'm not, I'm not big on board games. Mm. I like to be able to just download a game and we can all yeah. play together. So that's why I love, you know, how you're bringing this physical product into a digital version. So mm -hmm. we're excited to see how you kind of got this happening. Definitely. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a huge mobile gamer. I have a, I have, I don't even think I'm a gamer per se. Uh, not a huge gamer period but so there's some some sometimes there's something that really gets like becomes a huge kind of place of interest for me sometimes i'll get really into a, a switch game and call it like and i'll be like maybe i'm a gamer and then i'll like fin it and then i won't be into it the next week and i'm like yeah i'm not a gamer i just like every now and then there's like a an urge to play a game i think for a lot of those digital games yeah it's sharing is it's been amazing to see what can happen uh digitally through those games, what can like be how people have been able to communicate? Obviously, like we know, communities have arisen. I mean, you go through Discord and you just have so many, so many people into into the same thing. I think, I think what's missing definitely is like a physicality to everything, and that's a big thing that I do with my work in general. Is I obviously am excited for basically what your setup is for all of us to kind of have that be in a digital space almost at all time. And it's why I kind of picked this line of work. But I think we're the strongest when we can have a diversity of elements, a diversity of, of 
of things coming into a digital experience and bringing those from physical experience. I think always knowing that physical experiences are going to be rich. And I think having digital experiences to facilitate those features are, is always going to make it better. So that's what I try to do. And it's hard. And it's like, it's not an easy thing. Like anybody who tries to do this, you see a lot of student work, try to do this. You see a lot of experimental groups kind of uh, try to kind of overlay and add physicalness to digital experiences, but it's not, it's not easy. And sometimes it just doesn't work. So, and it's because it's, it's, it's a whole different thing, but we're going to try today. And so let's go through the flow really quick, right? So this is what I'm thinking and chat. Let me know if you have any other thoughts. You guys are designers as well. I consider you on my team. I'm going to, I'm just, you're my unpaid interns for today. And I know that's very illegal, but we're going to do it. Um, <laughs> Everything's so, legal here. I know, I know. It's a, you gotta love, you gotta love the Adobe streams. It's like another world where other things are to exist. Um, so, right, let's, well, you know, we're gonna open an app. Here are some things that I, you know, you probably, need, do we need a login? Is this gonna be just kind of free access? Is there gonna be a certain, certain, is there gonna be like a certain amount of time you get with this? I don't know. Obviously this game wants to make money. We're not gonna get into that really quick. We're not gonna get into that really quick. What we're going to get into is what I love is the actions of, of what we can bring in from the card game. So maybe there's an element of immediately going through the deck and playing the game and having it guided for you. So maybe there's a play game immediately element. Maybe there's an element where you can enter a level um, immediately and start playing that level or maybe just flipping through these cards. I think my favorite thing to do that I noticed when I was playing the game was just kind of flipping through cards and using them as prompts and getting like inspired by what they say. Like there's no rules, there's no rules to this game. And, and that's what it kind of seems when you read through the manual. And that's, that's kind of what I wanted to bring. I wanted to bring spontaneity to this mobile experience. So maybe you can just enter, maybe you can just pick. And so it seems like there are three levels. If kind of for, for all those, for all those people out there who haven't played the game, I think it's okay. I think you'll be right on board with this, what I'm talking about. But uh, there are three kind of levels. Um, one is perception, two is connection, and three is reflection, which is dope. It's a great idea for a card game. Um, and and you kind of like the card, the cards get deeper and deeper as you go along, right? So in perception, you'll have a question like, uh, let's see. Let's see, this is level one you know, how, what's the first thing you noticed about me? Like really simple, what'd you notice about me? Number two is connection. And so it'd be a question like, just describe your perfect day, like getting a little deeper. And number three is what would make you feel closer to me? It's like, okay, now we're on a whole different level here, right? So there's something about, maybe there's something you need. Maybe you want connection. Maybe you want to reflect a little bit. Maybe you can jump in. Great, let's have that element. Um, but what I really wanted to get into is from these, from these levels, or maybe, you know, or maybe this goes over here. Maybe there's a single card element here. I really love, you've obviously seen me referencing the cards a lot. Like I'm picking them up, they're in front of me, the pack is right in front of me. Um, I'm really interested in just like playing around with a single card. So maybe it's, maybe these action elements are maybe some cards over here, but what I want really is to be able to sift through cards and what is the interaction I want to take? Maybe I want to share it, you know, am I playing, am I sit with my phone somewhere with someone? And am I looking at these, these cards on my phone or am I sitting a thousand miles away from someone and wanted to send them this, this little card, this, this quip that I really love. Um, how can I, how can I shoot this kind of like physical digital element to somebody across the world? So, what I really want to focus on is sharing. So this is the flow that I think we want to take during this, during this. So we'll go open, uh, maybe entering through a level into a single card and then sharing the card um, through text or email. We'll see. So I think we've got a lot to work with here and we're going to start wireframing. Does that sound good? That sounds like a plan. You know, I love how you have like everything first off shared the entire intent of what we're building today. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited to see how this how this works out. And it looks like you have everything built out. It's like you were beyond prepared. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you want to be a little prepared for the stream. I mean, I, I definitely, you know, I've 
I've hosted a lot and I've seen some guests just have everything ready to go. And I think that's, obviously that's great. I think it's a stream takes is organic and um, sometimes questions come up and you kind of linger on them. So um, I wanted to give space to anything that needed to happen, right? So building it out isn't always going to be the, how I want this journey to proceed. So let's go forward and uh, let's just kind of build out what this would look like in a wireframe structure, right? So, so met so easy, really simple. I think the least amount of time you spend here, the best. Um, so I'm going to use a plugin because why not? Um, I would recommend also using um, things like um, already built out kits, um, especially when you're wireframing, because I think what really stalls designers is um, getting into the minutia too early, right? Getting, uh, we used to have this kid in my, <laughs> we used to have this kid I used to go to school with and we used to call him I'm going to put him on blast. I don't care. He's one of my best friends and I love him. His name is Kai. And I used to call him Hi-Fi Kai. And it's because he would come to class with concepts all in high fidelity. And we, we couldn't discuss his work. We couldn't discuss the idea behind the app. We couldn't discuss the intention because everything was so high fidelity. There was nothing. It was almost, it was done. So there was nothing left for conversation. There was nothing left for building on. And so we used to joke around and say like, don't be hi-fi Kai, like go, go lo-fi. Um, so there are, so yeah, I would recommend going using kits and using, so right now I'm gonna use a plugin called Quick Mockup. Awesome, we're talking gray boxes here. Um, and so let's just do this. So right now we wanna keep this app simple. We wanna keep the intention simple. So we're gonna, create a main menu. Again, remember early on is, are we gonna just play game, enter level, single card, maybe pull a single card, maybe pull a card at random would kind of be cool. So let's just place uh, CTAs or calls to actions or buttons on this first page and just like kind of, we can play with layout. We can, right now I just wanna play with getting things on paper, right? Getting things out there. So maybe this is random. Card would be kind of fun, right? Because I really like the single card element. Okay, so this is yeah. These are the things we need on this first initial, and what would be kind of the second? We're gonna go through our flow, and again, like this is something that you would build out with a team. You know, this is something that you would build out over months of of kind of playing around, going back and forth between wireframes and flow. What do we need? What do we want? Um, and, uh, and that's how it would work. So let's go through, let's go level, let's go second. So we're gonna build out levels. This is cool. And this is cool. So once you do, once you get into quick mock-up, it's pretty cool because they have these elements, right? Uh, let's pick up our theme is minimal. They have these elements that anybody could use and anybody, most people have in their designs, right? You. Sometimes you use a, a badge, sometimes you use a button. But what's cool about this plugin is once you select uh, your element, you can actually play around with the style. So yeah, you can add a little bit of complexity. So obviously one thing we need to make sure we do is, is there a specific path or a, a main path we want users to go on? So maybe it's, you know, maybe it's the begin journey, maybe it's the, Maybe it's begin journey will be that. And then secondary can be these two. I mean, that seems about right. So playing around with your hierarchy, it's awesome. It's a great, great app to be able to kind of play around with your elements. Um, all right, let's do levels. I kind of want to do like, um, I don't want to do like a button button. I'm going to make my own. That situation. plugin is actually super awesome. Like, I don't know why I've never heard of it. <laughs> but that's yeah. like, that is actually really cool. And especially that it has like drop downs. Like this is the next level of, what is it? Um, that icons plugin that I, I, I think that I've mentioned and many other people have mentioned on here. But this is, you can actually, just the fact that you can have the primary, secondary, um, that's a really quick way to work with those toggles. Right. Yeah. And I think that's where we're all headed with a lot of these UI kits and, and mm -hmm. wireframe kits, you know, like 
having an element if you're really in so i always like this is like the shout out to all my um ui designers right like ui designers this is where they thrive right it's creating an element and then just like making it accessible to all your needs right so yes it's a it's a button but it's a button maybe with a uh you know maybe we have a clear background with the border maybe it's a you know whatever and and this is the part where i'm like this this type of work is so needed i will put a pull a full shout out like i know i know we're always looking for ux uh, ui designers visual designers because ux designers are all about you know this part which is really important and really complex and so you're not you're not you know you're not sitting there trying to like build out every button you're trying to figure out the flow and so uh, this is my main pitch to anybody who is like more visually like stimulated and more like ui and more likes to hit you know perfect be on like like get everything aligned perfectly like lean into ui design and and and, and really learn your stuff there because that is a part of the design industry that needs always needs help that's what i noticed just a little inspo for anybody who's trying to figure out what they want to do. Um, so yeah, what am I doing here? Right. Keep me on track. Keep me on track. <laughs> it's like, no, this is all good this? information. I was like, how do you Where's... do this again? <laughs> yeah. We're still good on time. We have, you know, you're doing really excellent with the, the time that we have both today and tomorrow. Um, and I think everybody understanding, like, even the fact that we've both been doing this for quite a long time, and there's still people in the chat who... If I'm just hearing about this the first time, um, you know, there's many people who are just on this journey, you know, trying to um, just get it for the first time. And now, even though this is, I'm like a decade into the, you know, the industry and you're like, hey guys, by the way, there's this mock-up that can save you like two to three hours um, in your, you know, the, the early stages of your prototyping, um, you know, this is going to give a lot, you're giving free game to everybody. I'm so okay. we appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. I, it's honestly like the talking or working, man, I'm never gonna, I, I love, I love being a guest. I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome to get to be like, I do this too. I don't just like host, but I'm also like, dang, I forgot what it's like to talk and work at the same time. And, uh, we got this. Um, okay. Brandon's so, an Alexis podcast, but we're, we're on track. No worries. I'll yeah. let you know. Oh, I love it. I dude. Do you do podcasts? Do you have podcasts? You got a good voice I for it. I podcast with myself in the shower. Um, <laughs> I just talk naturally. Yeah, that's amazing. But, uh, amazing. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What is this? this so we're currently making the levels for... This is the one someone clicks on that go to levels. This is the level one, two, and three for the perception. Um, I forgot what level two was. And then... The, it's connection, connection. And then let's see here. Uh, reflection cool okay so we're going we're moving let's oh, that's cool that's a cool element i like that um i also like the idea of let's just mock it really quick what like this like random card element would be sure and while you're doing that by the way ladies and gentlemen i've seen just in the chat some of you guys are like what application are we in we're in adobe xd um we also have some questions that we'll get to in a moment i'm just gonna try to give alexis some some brain power yeah. real quick um but uh let's recall it yeah currently today it seems like we're going to be prototyping and just wireframing out so for some of those of you who are asking who's going to do the illustrations of the cards we're probably most mm. likely going to be getting in the high fidelity i'm not going to speak for alexis um uh, she'll obviously give us the answers to that but we are going through what is the the actual framework of what we're trying to build look like uh, just like she was saying earlier a lot of the a lot of the time we jump to high five high right exactly what you were saying you do not oh my god hashtag that straight. i love it yeah we do not want to jump straight into what is this going to look like because we kind of have to wrap our brain around what is the what is it we're actually trying to build and rather than spending uh, the two hours that we're we have today trying to make it look beautiful and then be like none of this works out <laughs> we're trying yeah. to get the framework so all right what are we where are we at right now alexis i see two um, i just want to kind of say, i don't know yeah i want to see what it looks if we can my goal for today is to kind of build out this flow see what it looks like play around with it um 
let's see, I'm going into, right, so, okay, so, we're going in, we have a cart, we have a level, we're like, oh, yes, I'd like connection, oh, yes, I'd love that, so, let's see, what would these, what would be the most enticing way to do this, maybe we'll do an image at some point attached to these, who knows, we're just going to leave that right there, um, and then what would kind of, let's see, we want to have them just kind of jump in to like this car game. Let's see, anything like that. This is also super wonky. Cool beans. Cool one of these. We already have. Yeah, we are. I mean, they're they're pretty simple. Nice. This is exactly what the park looks like. That's the thing. That's the other reason I like this game is that it's so well designed. I just love a simple white and you know, white and red. What am I doing mm -hmm. right here? White and red elements. So this is going to be a very simple design structure. Um, once we're once everything's all said and done. So I'm not super concerned about that. I'm even going to make this white, white, so that we don't get all in our heads about colors. And that's not what we're doing today. And I think you're right. We're not going to get into too much hi-fi. I mean, maybe we will. It's pretty simple. Yeah. I can't make any promises here, but who knows? Um, okay. And I think it'd be cool, like, so when you get, and this is great. So you don't, you say you don't really play a lot of card games, but you like you, or do you, do you play card games? The today? only ones that I play is like card, what is it? Cards of Humanity. Cards Against Humanity. But, yeah. And I think exactly what you're building right now could definitely even be, uh, at least the portions of it can definitely be used for that type of game. If I think it's actually that there's a digital version of Cards of Humanity. It would be really interesting. I, I might be actually lying to everybody on the stream, but I think <laughs> there is a digital version. Um, yeah. Somebody fact check me. But uh, Well, what is, in your opinion, the best kind of like, when you're looking at a card, are you like, what would be the best way to do this? I'm just, just a thought. Should I have them kind of shuffle through, kind of like a Tinder swipe? Should I have them kind of layered and stacked on top of each other? Um, kind of more like this, where you can see the next uh, kind of layer. Um, this is the question, right? So something like that. I'm wondering, I'm gonna play around. So this is kind of where I play. So, you know, is it gonna be more like a this vibe? I'm gonna do more like a, do we want to pull a single card at random? Do we want to have it? How does this interaction want to exist? Do we want to have them kind of stacked and maybe grayed out? That would be kind of cool. I like that idea, yeah. actually. Let's get some information from our chat. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, we have an important question for you guys. You guys get to decide. Do we want to put one in the chat if you guys want to do what we have there as level one on the screen, where you have one card in the center and you have three stacks or a stack of cards down below that's option one option two is the grayed out cards and three is the sort of swipeable sort of uh option that we have there to the furthest right so one two or three in the chat let us know and just make sure to enter it quickly <laughs> yeah but i don't know what i think i love the 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 tinder idea i also but i do also love the um the first iteration that you did. But either, all, all of them like look this pretty guy, cool. Then like a stack. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is that we can play around with this. This is just, these are, our, these are our notes, right? So like, okay, let's leave it there. Let's just have that be the vibe. We want one of these and that's cool. Um, the real question is, you know, like how will that lend into the flow and the general like desired outcome of this project, right? So does the project want to be all about something to write with. Well, what is our goal? Goals. Um, to, sh to share, to have a like share experience. It's to um, uh, how about like to. Uh, oh, here's another way to kind of say this. So for all you design nerds, how might we <laughs> um, share a singular, singular, this is why I'm a designer and not a writer, 
um, singular experience, how might we um, uh, experience with others? Might we uh, play play a game is silly, but game in time, I don't know, something like that. Um, or do we want it to be something like, how might we uh, extend uh, um, experience to So what I'm doing is, is really just kind of wrapping my brain around the intention, because at the end of the day, like I'm going to get into how this looks. I'm going to talk more about like, ooh, do we like this Tinder format? Oh, ooh, do we like how this swipes? And at the end of the day, if it doesn't really get into why we want to make this, it really it's going to lose it's going to lose it. And you normally you have a you have a team of people to kind of keep you on track, and normally there's a a project manager that does this for you, but we're on a live stream on the internet and um, there are no rules. You're live. <laughs> exactly. So we're live decision making. Mm -hmm. So here we go. So this is so one thing we're definitely going to need. I know already is interaction. Flip interaction because I think that's fun. Because one thing about these cards is there's a front and back, we've noticed, right? There's a red side and a white side typically. And um, that's kind of the big, that's the big like wow moment. The wow factor is what's on the, oh, let me flip it. And like, this is gonna be the question and the questions are meaty and, and super, um, um, you know, intense. And so we wanna like hold back maybe from showing people what that really intense question is going to be. So a flip interaction is probably necessary. Um, and we'll definitely, maybe even at the end of this stream, you can play around with that. Um, Cause that's fun. Let's see. Uh, this is a single. And it looks like the chat has voted for numero uno. Thank okay, you guys chat. in the chat for putting in your, uh, your votes. How is the chat? How are you guys? How what, what's it what's it like nowadays to be living in a chat? Chat is good, and also Cody Bear has also confirmed that there is a digital version of Cars of Humanity. I was like, there can't not be. It can't um, not be. Because <laughs> I was like, I don't know. We'd also love to know. First off, like Alex was asking, how are you guys doing? Chat, how is the day? But also. I don't know. I just oh, don't yeah. like to leave the house. I'm like, that's I, I have friends, but I'm like, listen, can we just do something over the internet? <laughs> can we all just get on a, a Discord or a Zoom call, please? Oh, I don't know. How's life, guys? How is life? You know, when the chat gets nice and when you guys are, I don't, I don't know. I'm not. I don't have the chat up for once because I was. I normally always do, and so I'm like, I'm feeling like a little. Uh, I miss them. I miss seeing what's going on in there. So just let me know what's going on in there. For keep, sure. Keep me grounded with those people. Everybody has them. just the last, everybody's saying life is good. And the majority has voted on either one, the second in line is three, or excuse me, second in line is two. And then the third, I think there's one vote in there for three. Love it. Thanks, chat. Hmm. I have a question for the chat, actually. This is good. What? What has kept you sane with all the home time we've been spending? Has it been card games? Has it been like video games? Has it been reading books? Like, I want to know what people are. I've always wanted to know. And I think that's a question I'll, I'll ask for like years to come is like, what kept you sane? Because really what I like about this game is like, yes, there is a element of getting close to someone, but there's also the element of getting to know yourself. So, so how has that been? Like, what is the thing that's brought you brought you back to you during this, uh, all these stay at home moments throughout the last year. 
Yeah, you chew on that chat. You chew on that. Um, what do I want to do here? I want to share. So we're going to talk about some sharing elements here. There's nothing here. So let's see, I have to make my own. Maybe I'll go into the other plugin, Icons for Design. See some inspo for what share could look like. What we want share to be. While you're looking for that, Angelina says video games with friends. Ooh, what video games? Gareth says, what has kept me sane is starting a degree last October. Congratulations. Yes. Cesara says Twitch Behance PS4 and Outdoors. What are you playing on Twitch and PS4? Enlighten us. Megan says, hello all. <laughs> hello, Megan. Yes. And please don't let, yell at me if it's pronounced Megan. <laughs> it's Megan. I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I always, I am the worst at I'm so sorry, Chad. I think I, I don't know if you guys know this about me already. And it's just kind of like, we know Alexis, but like, I'm really bad with pronouncing names. I'm horrible at it. And I feel awful because that's, that's totally my fault. I should figure that out, but I'm, I'm, I'm the worst at it. <laughs> yeah. I go to how to pronounce names.com every time I get into an Uber. So I think we're both on that page. <laughs> it's just so I can say exists? the name of like, it does. Uh, I, yes, and I think it's um, their branding is red. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not sure if it's 100% how to pronounce name.com, but as soon as you look up how to pronounce a particular name, that website comes up and it has saved lives, um, particularly mine. Wow, but it's a nice little database. But Angelina says Mortal Kombat. Um, that is a video game that gives me PTSD. I'm glad it doesn't give you any. Uh, <laughs> I can't win for my life on there, but Lee says reading live streams. Uh, Umicorn definitely says Behance. And Laura says Adobe Live has kept her sane, which is oh, awesome. Oh my goodness, love to hear it, love to hear it. And Laura actually asked earlier, does your company that you work with, do are they remote? I'm curious, I'm, they I'm sure they are. They are, they are, yeah. They are, and we're all over. We're all over the world. We have offices in Europe, the US and Japan, Vietnam. Wow. And um, yeah, we're we're all over and totally remote. And we're always, you know, if you want to ping me, we're always looking for visual designers, UI designers, um, you know, yeah. You gotta give a little incentive to watch these live streams, right? Um, let's see. <laughs> uh let's see what do i want to do i want to share but like i want to share like i wanted so i was looking at i was looking at like individual elements that were like like icons right share icons do i want to do like a little bit like a little more maybe like some of those uh option option button and a drop down share it's like no like share is like the main takeaway here so i want to like write a little a bigger i want something more meatier so how about um send to friend send to or just send like not even share like send this um so we're gonna do that a flip interaction here Ooh, how about that what if i did you don't send it until you read it that's cool so it appears after this is the back you know why i get excited so much about cards why because every time, because you had to flip them at some point, more than, more likely than not, you had to flip a card. And then the Missy Elliott song comes to my mind, flip it and reverse it. I, I'm, I apologize <laughs> if there's a uh, YouTube <laughs> copyright on that because my voice is so amazing. But um, <laughs> yeah, you really put your thing down, flipped it yeah, and reverse it. I tried, um, it came from the diaphragm. That's funny, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's yeah, there's something about cards. I love them. I love them too. Um, actually, something I did want to do was ask you one of these questions, and maybe I'll ask the chat one of these one of my these example cards. Yes. So, the question is, how are you really? How are you really right now? I am. Chat, how are you really? First, <laughs> we will answer this together. When the answers come into the chat, then I will answer there we go. how I, I am really. Smart man, smart man. First off, I'll say I'm dry. That's a free one. Um, <laughs> 
And what that means is I haven't had enough water today. My 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 lips are screaming at me. But anyway, that aside, that's a freebie. Um, Alexis, how are you really? How how are we feeling? We have so far we're doing pretty good. We're like halfway through the main flow. You have, so hold up. So you said you're you said you're dehydrated. I hear that. Yes. Is you use the you... politically correct word dehydrated. Yeah. <laughs> I am not moist. I am dry. Okay. 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 So there's, a, <laughs> there's something in you that really wants to make sure like you're always hydrated. I like that. Does it help with like yeah. headaches or you just feel better because of it? It makes me feel like I don't have a chameleon in my mouth, which my mm. tongue is definitely we're there. It's a lot of coffee this morning. Mm. It's, it's uh yeah. Always I need to compliment that days. with some clear liquid. <laughs> I love it. This is good. I already feel like we get to, we're knowing we know each other better. Like, you know, like I feel like we hit we're like we're gonna get there. Um, yeah. Hey, you know Brandon? <laughs> He's dehydrated. Yeah, one hundred percent. He's dehydrated, yes. but I, I know there's more. So <laughs> that's how I introduce um, myself. Hi, I'm Brandon. I haven't had enough water today. Yes, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Actually, Brandon, I did want to ask you about your uh, background. Okay. It's something I've been wanting to ask her, and I'm sure it's been asked before. So, like, do you do you think how far away are we from everybody having this? Like, obviously, your background is is a, is a production, it's a green screen, it's a lot of different elements. But how far away do you think we are from that life in real, real life, like in real life? Oh, it's, it's already here. I mean, we we could really. I understand my job here today, ladies and gentlemen, is to, for us to keep on track. This is a conversation on its own. Um, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's already. You have people already. You know, I I'm not gonna. Um, there's some companies I don't want to talk about on Adobe Live, but there's different type of production, especially in 3D, where you can. Um, this is what I have is is basic. It's you can very cheaply nowadays have triple a video game level quality um production for uh or as an individual like for five thousand ten thousand dollars um and have like a mocap suit build out have somebody build you a um a virtual background kind of like mine um mine's obviously from elon musk you know we just had a quick deal and he was like hey by the way do you just want this free uh uh tesla mark 13 that's not even out yet and you know my office that's on mars and you guys can just test it out that's kind of where my stuff comes from but you know got it, got it. um yeah that's my that's my short answer it's ar vr um virtual production just because of we've been forced into a good corner i think because of mm. uh, how we've had to isolate you can make movies nowadays with in animated uh like high quality stuff with low budget and have nobody in the same room and even have um you know mocap actors anyway that's a whole nother conversation in itself but it's very exciting especially when we're in design like we're doing things like this i really implore like all of you guys to see you know what alexis is doing with ui ux this is one you know uh, uh avenue of ui ux there's so much coming down the line when it comes to like video games, uh, AR is super exciting. So I hope you guys take a look at that stuff too. Um, anyway, that's <laughs> that's my really long. Mm. It was supposed to be short. I love to hear it. But it's no, exciting future. It. it really is. Absolutely, I love it. And if and I think is is like, dude, let's let's keep talking about that. It's here. And what is it? And I love the, kind of the idea of like, what does it mean? What does it mean for our day to, our day to day? What is it going to bring? You know, like this is why like user experience, interactive design, you know, these are, I wanted to say, it's funny because my, my, my wife is not in tech in any capacity and she has yeah. a hard time understanding kind of how I like to say it's like, I'm like, tech's not, tech's not like as, as, is it glamorous in that way sometimes? Like, yes, it looked cool. Like it is exactly what it looks, it's cool but it's not glamorous. It's like, we are those who work in it and those who are helping design it and figure out and understand it are paving the way for kind of the future building blocks of how we're all gonna live, right? And so I try to explain to her, I'm like, tech's more or less in a couple of years gonna be like the job, like a job a lot of people have. And it's not gonna yeah. be like this. And that's my hope for it is making it something that is more, 
for lack of better words, inclusive, but like it's something it should, everything should be all, all, all the time, you know, like it's something that everybody has hands in and we're all building together. So yep. uh, yeah, so I try to, I try to demystify it for her sometimes. Um, but so well, the other thing I was doing in the background while you were giving that amazing yes, give us the rundown. detail is I am an iPad, I don't want iPad. I went, I, so I realized one thing and I'm like, you know what, if I'm, am I gonna, am I gonna build every element for this? No, I'm going to use elements also that exist that might, you know, by the time we're in share mode, we're going to be using a drawer element that probably exists on iOS. Obviously we're also building for iOS because that's, you know, where my design tastes lie. <laughs> um, so what I did and something that's awesome that uh if you look on apple design resources developer.apple.com um as well as having actual um human interface guidelines they also have for xd because that's what we're working in they have um already designed kits and templates we're using elements that they use and so i if anybody is having a moment and really wants and maybe is like why am i building this why am i making this i i i think this exists already should i screen no just go and go get it it exists most people now most most companies now are free to release stuff like this and so go download a kit and use it um, that's what i'm doing right now so okay so here it is ios 14. So one thing that I want to grab is a uh, kind of like a drawer element. And also I want to do a mock-up of messaging. That's also what I wanted. That's the reason I wanted to grab this. Awesome. So here it is. We're here. We're copying it. We're putting it here. I'd love to kind of see what this looks like in a message. It's something that when you're building your flow, when you're thinking about a user, you want to think about like the full experience they're going to have. So yes, we're not going to, we're not building a new messaging platform maybe that maybe that will exist for the app later but i'd love to see and a great way to kind of get your story across of what you want to build is build up a full flow like what does it look like from beginning to end um and so what happens when maybe uh so and so gets the card that you share but right now i'm looking for this element this drawer share element that i know exists we've all used it need this guy Something like action, right? Something that yeah, that's great. You can just cruise around your phone. I remember the first time I saw like this uh, this resource. I remember my and it was and there's this resource has always kind of existed in one level or another. I just remember being like my mind going like I'm like what like. It's like they're giving us the keys to like, <laughs> like they're telling us all what's behind the curtain. I was like, is this allowed? And yeah, absolutely. Like there should be no gatekeeping to this stuff, especially stuff that we use all the time. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, so anybody who hasn't used it, go use it. Also, it's great to kind of practice these. Elements. So look at that. I was like, I'm gonna make it. No need to make it, throw it on top, boom. And I think honestly, this is just like you were saying, it's just like, is this allowed? I uh, do my fair share of, and I'm sure you do as well, teaching, mentoring, things of that nature. And the biggest like thing in somebody's mind is like, am I allowed to like copy and paste this right here? And first off, it's actually part of their documentation that you do <laughs> use those things. But um, uh, for anything else, like exactly what Alexis is doing and finding leveraging what is already in existence to make her workflow so much easier rather than trying to like push and pull corners of a button find the correct uh color and type just copy and paste make your life a little bit easier and get the actual get to the final solution a little bit quicker so um there is no uh no problem with the copy and pasting unless you're trying to like sell to an investor the your version of netflix and you copy somehow yeah copy and paste their entire uh, yeah. flow of that and exactly well there's that there's that nobody's gonna believe i mean look in my experience the best things 
are uh, you can show the best things to show to people that so, so when it comes to design, design is just figuring out a larger breaking down a larger problem. Right. And so as a UX designer, the way that or an interaction designer does that is by basically taking all of the different ways that problem could be solved and putting them into a story. And I like to say like story is like the biggest tool in my kit. And so when that doesn't, and so that can happen in so many ways. That can happen with like no, no screens. That can happen with just like a discussion. That can happen with just like a flow. That can happen with wireframes. That can happen with like something that's beautiful. But you, when it comes to like, cop, you know, taking other people's work, is that adding to your story? Like, is that your story breaking down your problem? Not really. I think, I think like at the end of the day, it's, it's very, it's taboo, but I think you, you, it's okay to take elements of a story that are built. They're made. You're, you're, this is part of, is this going to help your story? Okay. Use it. You know, like, but it is, don't use your, don't use their story to answer your question like to figure out your solution like that's not how that works um it's got deep right there i like it <sighs> where are we at what time is it Ooh. we're still doing pretty good we have we cool. still got an hour plus sweet so let's see here so we're journeys enter level maybe a single random card fun uh level select maybe we show what looks going through the deck is maybe we can maybe that's something you can build what that what does that look like maybe there's a timer element that's fun um, yeah let's do like uh by the way just quick announcement for those of you guys who probably may have popped in popped out or even if you're on youtube and you're like oh alexis is doing some awesomeness if you guys are chatting over on youtube sadly we cannot see it come on over to behance and join the family so that you guys can have conversation with us here and we are for those of you who did just pop in we are creating an amazing interactive card game with alexis bustos um, and uh, yeah, let us know if you have any questions. I know there was a question earlier about uh, Alexis's favorite Adobe XD plugins on top of the one that we are currently um, using. And uh, if you guys have any technical questions, things of that nature, also drop them in the chat. We're he that's what we're here for. We're good. We're here for good conversation, showing you guys a little bit of Alexis's process, and also being the Adobe family that we are. So. My favorite, uh, my favorite plugins are I mean, icons for design is pretty great. Um, if you need a quick icon, like, let's see, I just did a, uh, like I was looking for share, a share icon, right? Something simple, maybe you want a, even like, say, we even have like simple ones like an instagram logo right like simple simple like mock-up mock-up type single line icons really help bring something together but there's so those are great i think whiteboard is huge it's a great mm. great way to kind of collaborate and have your you really utilize adobe xd for what it is which is a giant canvas canvas right and so like i've if you go into whiteboard, there's great examples of brainstorming exercises, empathy maps, um, stakeholder maps, um, even, even like wireframe, uh, like examples or pages, right? To really like really push you to get started. Um, and you can even, there's even like a drawing tool uh, available so you can get real sketchy real fast. So it's sketchy and I mean sketchy. So whiteboard is a huge one. We obviously are using quick mock-up right now because it's so easy to use. And so, um, and so yeah, I think, I think there's some great examples of, ooh, here's some cool icons in here and it's just an easy way to mock things up. So 
those those are great. I used to really like um, there's a Wikipedia plugin, and if you hit that button up top, uh, you can kind of really just play around with all of the different uh, plugins. And I feel like there was one about Wikipedia because my issue has always been copy. So copy is something I really fixate on. And so anything to help me and like I, I even with all the copy uh, lore mips in the world, I still like get really like antsy over copy and I love it so much because I think how you speak to a user is you know, kind of the most important thing. And so uh, there's some really great. So Wikipedia was a big one for me. Let me try to find it. So wiki something what was it called. The plugin family is really expanding. It's huge. It's, do, it's doing it's doing great. I'm really proud about it. I really I used to have friends that worked on plugin Wikify. That's it. Stop. Turn this in really quick. So Wikify was this cool plugin that that um, basically have your text box and say, I want to search things like card. And I want copy that's not like fake. It's like real words strung together. I don't know, it's just something that gives you like the Wikipedia article for whatever you basically typed in. And for me, that's just like, I don't know, it's kind of fun. Oh. It's, 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 it's better, it's better than, it's, it helps my mind. It's, I have a hard time taking, taking Lorem Ipsum seriously. So uh, Wikify is a great tool. This one That's I used to really cool. like, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so those are mine. What are yours? Um, Icons for design and Laura Ipsum, honestly. And now I'm going to download quick mockups because that is absolutely, um, that's the game. And they even have templates in there. So yeah, that's there's, really cool. It looks like there's templates and also themes. So yeah. say it's like, ah, oh, you know what? I'm gonna, it's time. I'm gonna, it's actually more, we want to do more of like a themed uh, wireframe, which, mm. you know, that's, if that's what you want, they have it. I like bare bones. It makes me very happy. So I'm thinking about these cards and I'm kind of thinking it would be fun to do um, maybe a way to rate the card, maybe have your, have your favorite stack and you can like build out your favorite kind of questions. Um, so I'm thinking like, what do you think of your little heart you put here or something? So something. you guys can send, how are you really to me every day? <laughs> and realize just how dehydrated I am on a periodic basis mm. <laughs> over the well, long term. I think we need to get a, I think we need another question. Okay, I got it. Describe your perfect day. Go for it. Is this for me? This is from the game. This is from the game. This is to you or the chat. Describe your perfect day. Get real. Your perfect day, guys. And you guys didn't even entertain us with the first question. You guys still have to answer, how are you really? And while you guys are entertaining that and putting that into the chat, Brandon, had not me another brand in our chat asks how do i and you know what um this is the question but i think it's it, i'm gonna let you figure out how to answer this i think it's a simple one but his question is hello guys that's actually how he wrote it how do i save images for responsive screens i think there's a very simple answer to that um but i'm gonna let you answer it wait what was the question the question is, how do I save images for responsive screens? There's mm. probably another way he could have asked that question, but um, I'm gonna let save you. Save images for responsive screens. Save images so that they, when you're so when you're so when you're resizing images for, is that kind of what we're talking about here? Yeah. So I think yeah. the better way that could have been asked is. Um, or really what he was trying to ask with the, the question is how do you essentially make images so that they are responsive? And I, yeah, I'm gonna let you answer that. I have my answer, but I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah. So mm, let's see, let's pull an, let's see. Okay, so I'm assuming you're in, okay. Let's pull an image over or something and talk about it. Uh, you want to save an image so it's responsive. I'm assuming in XD, because that's where we are. Mm -hmm. um, so say you want to 
maybe make this a response. So maybe this wants to translate into a iPad, right? So let's see, let's pull an iPad frame. Okay. And essentially what we're talking about is getting, making the mobile view something that can be translated to something that's larger, like an iPad or even bigger, like a, uh, like a web view. Hmm. And so you're saying this image, we want to make sure this image translates to the same type of layout or space or whatever that we have. So this is a um, great thing here. So maybe you have text elements as well that you want to keep the same size. Maybe there's something as well. And these are all kind of, these are these elements that we have and we want them to kind of translate. So one thing that early on we should kind of look over at is responsive resize. And so if already on, I believe, if already on, this should really, let's see if everything is, So really it should, so, okay. So when you're pulling apart an element, so this is one way that uh, responsive resize works, right? Is actually like keeping your elements maybe locked to your, your, your base and, and kind of locked to the same margins. And, um, but this obviously doesn't look great. So what to do when you want to kind of enlarge, I think we go and we want to do a, you know, I assume you want to do a fix me. I think I don't know how to do this. I mean, I, here's the thing. When it comes to responsive resizing on in, in XD, there are, there's still some things we need to figure out to be able to do it very quickly. But Brandon, save me here and help me out. I'm not I sure you. what this means. Yeah, go for it. I copy and I paste and I make it the size that I want. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> I go super, there's, I'm not fancy at all. I'm like, this is the size I want. So, cause I know there are, like you were saying, you, you know, there's the were fancy and a little bit more complex way of the responsive resize. But when it's really on the discussion between, I think this is actually a really good conversation. When there's a discussion between mm -hmm. you and your developer on how things resize, um you can figure out how to do it with the responsive resize toggle or you can um you know just say hey this is what you know this size artboard or uh this size canvas how things should look and then when it gets to this size this is how it should look so honestly for anybody who's trying to uh mess around with the responsive resize if you're new you don't have to mess with that literally just make your size of a tablet and just make it look like how you want it to look at that. So your experience to look at that size. You don't have to get uh, complicated with it. Yeah, to be truly honest with you, I don't know how to uh, play around with the responsive resize either. I usually only deal with that in other Apple, um, other applications when you're actually building the website because um, it's the actual experience. But if you're new, just make a new artboard and make it exactly how you would like to look. Um, but if you do know how to use responsive resize, holler at us in the chat. <laughs> We're doing great. This is so great. We did that. It was great. You know, here's the thing. We're honest. We're just saying it like it is. Make it the size you want. And I love it. Exactly. So we're moving on into our chat. Yeah. I'm not loving this. Like, I might have to copy individual elements over, but that's fine. Let's do this. By the way, while you're doing that, a lot of the, we have some good answers here. We have Fergie in the chat saying, oh, well, actually we'll go, not chronologically, but I guess numerically, Laura says, for how I am doing really, she's very tired, but there very hopeful. Um, Fergie says it's been a perfect day. Wake up around 10 and she hit the gym, the spa, onto brunch with the best coffee 
and has had some relaxation drawing and wandering around in art exhibit, which sounds amazing. Oh my gosh, Fergie, really crushing it. That's a great day. That is, that is a good day. Lee says, got up, swam at the beach. What, can I live in some of your guys' lives? What's going on? Um, learning new skills from designers on Adobe Live. Okay. <laughs> Bernadette says, my perfect day would be family, dogs, gorgeous beach. Oh, this is the second question. You have perfect day. I love it. Okay. I love what you guys are doing. I think it's good and it's special. I'm very jealous of your life. <laughs> um, wow, everyone's crushing it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or they're also, okay, those are perfect days. Those are perfect days. So describe, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are great days. Those are very on, on brand for what I'm hoping to hear. Um, a perfect day would be something like something where I get to talk to like a lot of people. Like mm -hmm. I love getting, I, I'm the best. I'm my best self when I can really, uh, really get inspiration from other people. So that's why I miss being in the office. That's why I, I really like doing Adobe lives. Cause I'm like, I get to talk to new people. I get to meet you. I get to, really get to do things with people because designing at home is isolating you know just being working at home is isolating and i'm sure i'm not the only one that feels that way about it but that's my yeah. perfect day so whatever that whatever that takes right whatever. Yes. a lot of zoom calls a lot of talking to self um things of that nature but people are, people are good people are good all right, so it looks like we're working on, so this is if we're sharing in a text message, it looks like. Yeah. Peace. Let's see what that looks like. So I think what's gonna be fun really is talking, you know, no, this is not. I'll get in too into that. That is what it is. You see what it is. It's great. Okay. Let's. What's gonna be fun is. These words you normally are when you're sharing. Let's look at really quick. And Mimi Nguyen says, these live streams have saved me. If yeah. these live streams have saved you guys, make sure to hit that like button and also say hi, if you haven't already. <laughs> Gosh, these live streams, I love that. I love the live stream saving. Yeah, I think that's one of the cool things with, I, I know um, a lot of people have been uh, socially separated but I think live streams just in general, just having that connection and the ability to meet new people and even talk to new people and have new perspectives um, uh, or just new communities. There you go. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really cool uh, through the internet to be able to meet one another, especially with the extended period of time. I think a lot of people, um, as we spend more time on the internet have, been able to meet new people learn new things a lot quicker and i think um that's actually not to get into uh things but why a lot of people have moved on to the internet and started to uh, rethink how they want their life what <clears throat> what is that what is going on the the resignation where there's like four i think the correct number is like four million people like deciding to leave their jobs to mm. pursue um some sort of online uh, hustle or things of that nature because of the internet and the democratization, just like open market because of the internet. It's, yeah, it's, um, I, I, I'm, it's, I mean, are we in the matrix yet? Eh, 
but we're getting there and that we are it's are we all going to get to a point where we're you know this is our these are our jobs maybe kind of there's too many facets of building on the internet that aren't going to require more human capital to be able to kind of keep it going but also mm. i think the real the once we get to a point where everything be kind of becomes in a sense automated right like i didn't create any of these elements really and they're here and i'm already kind of fleshing them out and it's it's already happening and i have a story yeah. and the, our everyone's jobs are going to be easier and easier you know like what's really going to become the main bread and butter to to kind of get your talents to use and i think it's i mean i'm a little biased but i think it's i think it's problem solving in design i think it's problem solving in ux i think it's what can your how can you get and solve and explain your ideas and it's going to be the create i think creativity is going to become and it already is yeah you know the the what we're what we're going to be moving around and, and really pushing pushing because here's the thing like three a year ago two years ago maybe three years ago whatever like these these ideas this is this didn't exist like having this you know like let's already have elements built like it, it like so easy this is it's like it hurts it hurts a little bit because you're you kind of have a um an ego check when you see what can, what is created now design wise um and i love it you know what i mean you have to either love it or hate it like oh like everything's gonna look the same it's like no people's ideas are gonna get better explained and that's kind of the goal um so so yeah it's ugh, i feel like we can have a really good discussion about all this but and 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 that's the beauty of adobe live is that we can um 100 percent but as long as we stay above the algorithm guys we're good <laughs> and you do you do that by learning how to solve problems whatever form that takes it's true uh so true why is this gonna be the worst time Ooh. okay okay bud hey apple i see you not this is how this guy be moody. It's a really moody little uh, interaction here. <laughs> There's a card. Um, okay. <laughs> that so almost that's... seems like a passive aggressive like tech message sequence. Hey, sure. hey, Derek, think of you sense card. Goes emotional. back to doing what he's doing. He or she emotional. is emotional. I can't. I can't describe. So something about this brand that I really liked is like they're they lean in to the like self love and care, but also like leaning into like stuff is hard. Like the world's hard. Like it's not. You're not always going to be at your best. And leaning into like there's reasons for it. Let's just. Let me help you out. I just like a brand that is like, puts you kind of at center here. So something that I, I really like about, about them is also the simplicity, but I think tomorrow we're gonna really get into how can we bring in this kind of like, it also feels off, here's the thing. It feels right on the money with what we should be asking ourselves and how to connect to people. But it's also like, it's kind of making you uncomfortable, right? Like, it's like, oh, why are you asking me? Like, you know, if I, you know, about my perfect day. What are you like, what's going on? Like it's, it's getting deep. And so I kind of love the idea of like pairing that up with like an asymmetrical design trend and like seeing how that like plays together. So tomorrow when we're doing more visuals, we're gonna kind of like see how that can look. Cause I think at the end of the day, like again with storytelling and again with designing, like everything, everything about your design kind of says something about what you're, says something and pushes across an idea. So. Uh, I really love the, this trend, and I think this is um, it's one of those things that like makes a lot of designers uncomfortable. You know, that you're not really playing with you're playing with an asymmetrical grid altogether, and so nothing's aligned. It's intended to make you uncomfortable. So I want to see what this pairs up, how this pairs well to, with this app. Um, so, so yeah, we're doing great. Um, I really have always. So let's see what this kind of like journey could be here, right? So are we going to, let's go to level. 
just string it along and see what happens. send whatever okay I'm just gonna play with it and see what it looks like so we start our journey we start our journey uh, maybe we want to we have a level we want to get into these are the cards for that level so what do we what are we missing here we're missing some sort of Title element, maybe we're saying level name, level, yeah, level name maybe goes here. Um, maybe it's not a question, maybe it's what's on the back of the card, which is getting all our details in yeah like what is that is it going to be something like that okay so we're set at the front maybe when you select it goes maybe it moves that'd be kind of cool right, if that interaction happened um let's go over here let's do an auto animate so we can just see yeah like why not let's use this element so it kind of let's use this element so it works the same way maybe it moves maybe those fade away crazy crazy sauce here you guys this is the let's use a different question let's see since this is level two let's use this one I also really like how detail you. <clears throat> I like how you put all the details in everything, um, because if I were doing this, I would just have like blank cards. And but what this helps is it really gives somebody like context looking at this. <clears throat> yeah. Of, yeah. You know what's actually going on, and it also it speaks to why you know it's important to have context one while people are watching and learning but two um it brings back to the point of why you like what is it the week wiki fi uh, wikify yeah the, what is it called yeah wikify wikify yeah. <laughs> yeah just yeah it's important yeah. for people to know what's going on yeah right we we're, we're still yeah i try to pretend like i'm in i'm in school or something with these it's fun um let's see i wanted to try this transition with the this overlay transition put this on a, okay so i have to put this on an artboard just see if it works i haven't used it before it's like is does it already put the gradient i just never used it let's see let's play so single random four is that, is that right okay okay so what Oh, okay. Something like that. Cool. There we go. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. So if I were to, at this point, I have this idea, I have this concept, but I would like to then share it. This is kind of, now we're in a place where this journey is kind of uh, more or less you know, we can pair up to this flow some of these screens. So we have a uh, main menu. This is kind of more the main menu. We're in a main menu. Here. And then we have our levels. You know, we have our we want to 
Well, the select is here. Um, we have a single card mock. Uh, let's see, we have a share card. Yes, do we have a go back? That's important. No. How do we go back, you guys? That's a that's a huge thing. We can't overlook that. And so this is kind of this is it. This is exactly the process going from here to there, from here to there, right? Back and forth, back and forth all day long. Um, so we're just always on the right page, same page. Back. Ugh, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Maybe an arrow. Did it only give diagonal ones? It was no like straight back one. Yeah, no, there wasn't. Wow. Um, this is why I trust Icon for design with the oh. with the icons in particular. Duh. Thank you for that. That is helpful. It's helpful. So let's see here. We're doing this. Let's see like this here. I know. Maybe like a back element here. Um, is there going to be a menu option? Sure. It's like a full menu. Are we going to do a little hamburger menu maybe? Sure. Yes. Like that. Let's get these details going. Once we have them, you know, is this going to be just kind of our normal header? Okay. Word. That works too. This is our... Let's group it. Let's... In places. Matt Davis good. says it's very refreshing to see someone working live. It does get lonely and nice to see the process it does take time and careful attention to detail. Well, thanks for joining, Matt. Oh my gosh, geez, Saloon, love that. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you. I I agree. I'm so even. I mean, I have I have some great coworkers, but like. Sometimes all you want to do is just like get onto a whiteboard and how easy, how much easier was that to just grab somebody at the office and do that um, versus like, Hey, are you free? No, you're making a sandwich. I'm like, Oh, okay. It's all good. You make your sandwich. It's all, it's all good. I'm good. And you're just kind of lonely sitting there. I take my calls anywhere. Just depends on how comfortable people are. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, no, it's true. I'm not a huge, like, I don't want to hang out. I mean, I, I'll just watch a cooking show if I want to watch people make food, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, Cornell is asking, how do you become? This is this is the question. There's actually been a couple of these. Uh, suggestions for how to become an amazing UI UX designer. I love those questions, and I love them. I really do. Um, practice. But also, okay, so this is that question that I think flows into where you get your, where you learn. How do you learn best? How do you, how do you as an individual learn best? And that's kind of the step one question, right? Is it yeah. reading books? Is it, is it getting, is it getting your hands dirty? Is it seeing other people do it? Is it, um, having really solid references and guides that have been long established um, that people can pick from, or is it the, uh, or is it building, getting, in, getting inspiration and making an art of it, you know, like, so how do you get things into your brain best? And depending on what your answer is, it's either do, do some type of formal ed, which I am mm. always a proponent for, like either a boot camp or a, some type of like college program or whatever, like a formal, formal guide and a form with a teacher, I think is a big, a lot of people learn best with that. I think it's the, but I've also seen a lot of UI designers, UX designers learn on them, learn on their own and watching guides, watching people on YouTube, um, watching Adobe lives, um, copying and remaking and kind of making their own styles and just kind of going, doing one-to-one. -one. I mean, like, that's kind of how everybody used to learn was just like, oh, if I'm looking at say, bad examples, but like, if I'm looking at like um, an Instagram, you know, Instagram, like what are these elements here? And let me, let me try to recreate every single one. And that's how I'm going to learn. I've also seen that too. Um, I think it just, it depends on how you learn best and then what you want to be doing. 
So if you want to be a UX designer, I think get yourself around people fast. And you don't have, doesn't mean formal education at all, although that they're built in, your community is built in with what you're paying or whatever. And also paying for something is a huge incentive to learn. So that helps. But getting around people immediately if you want to be a UX designer and having a community to talk to. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to be a UI designer, I think world's your oyster at that one. Like if you are if you are a UI designer or you want to do that and, and visual design and make it a craft, then just do your craft constantly. Um, and that does not need a formal ed. Maybe you need prompts, maybe you need inspiration, but it's just about, it's like you're a potter at this point. You're, you're crafting elements, you're crafting um, like arrows, you're crafting, you know, what's a drop, what's the perfect drop shadow. And so like, you're, you're just got to get your hands dirty. So I think, yeah. So I think those are your, those are how you become a great one. That's how you start. How you become a great one is then getting in front of people with high stakes, which is why I actually like do, I'm a big proponent of like, I love when new designers come on Adobe live. My very first person I ever guest uh, hosted for his name was um, Colby. And he was a, he was in school. He was in school and he had maybe had an internship and crush. He's crushing it still. Colby Kleitz, check him out. Like, yeah. I think I, he's just, he's doing great, but like, I'm a huge putting, he put himself out there prior, you know, without having like any, you know, he hadn't been on like a lot of, he hadn't been in any streams, like being on a stream's hard and it makes you, it challenges yourself and it helps you fill some gaps. So, um, yeah, get into a high, high stake situation, whatever that may be for you. Um, and for some, a lot of people, it's jumping in, doing a start, doing startup work, getting in with a company, a really big company first. And that's how you do it. I wanted to, um, well, did you have anything to say about that first? I didn't want to. No, you're, it was a question to, you hit everything. There's a, there is no right or wrong way. You just have to know what structure is best for you to learn. And I think that will help you figure out what direction you need to go with the options that you gave. Um, you covered everything. There is no one path. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. Right. So how you become great is it's that I feel like that's subjective to you, right? Like yeah. great is a lot of things for a lot of different facets of design. Um, that you could be a great designer, but an incredible like manager, or you could be an amazing designer and a horrible manager. But like, is that the tier structure you want to define your success for? Like how high up in the ranks you get, or is it an award system? Maybe you want to like win awards and be featured on Behance and Dribble. Different, totally different structure, right? Or do you want to build something amazing and like change the world, like create a like button? You know, like that's that's <laughs> different. That's a different format, right? And so, yeah. Um, who knows? Who knows? That's success. I think the best becomes suggest um, subjective. But mm -hmm. my, I think the strongest, in my personal opinion, the strongest UX designers, interaction designers, not UI designers per se, are the ones who can communicate ideas well and have no ego about their designs and um, can really like see a big picture within the yeah. business needs or whatever. And I think, so yeah, I remember I took a class and it was all about like storytelling. That's all it was. It's like, you just got fundamentals of like storytelling, beginning, middle, end, and one of the elements. And um, I think that was a big one that helped with that skill. There's a lot of things in, in design. And in mm -hmm. there's a lot of things that make up good designers. Like what you're saying here, what we're doing here today is how to put the problem solving, how you put things together. And then, yeah. like you've been saying, there's a storytelling element, how to sell the thing that you've made mm -hmm. um, um, and how to bring people through the experience. So there's, there's a lot of, it may not be one thing that you guys are looking for in the chat that's going to solve the problem, but you're looking for puzzle pieces to help build to the, the goalposts that you want to achieve for yourself. So Absolutely. Uh, that was a great question. They're all great questions to be fair. So don't be afraid to ask them. Um, well, I'm looking at time. So I'm checking out. So we have this structure rough. Great. Um, we have elements that are, you know, maybe we want to bring in, obviously we don't have like a login. Do we need to build one? 
maybe not for this example is necessary. Sometimes it's to get a point across, like we know everybody logs in. So mm. I'll just like write it, especially for more of a conceptual thing, like what we're building right now. So um, maybe not, maybe not so much, but here, let me, let me make some people happy and do like an input here. Email, I don't know, pull my small caps. Email, uh, password. Okay, um, we get that vibe. But that, now I wanna like make it nice. See, this is why like, if I wanna tell a story, like you gotta stay on track. So um, that's great. And so tomorrow we're gonna just like push those all together um, into, into like a visually very cool thing. Early on in my, explorative phase with this really the thing that got me really excited was the idea of like cards i haven't done anything with cards really i do a lot of um software uh, design so it's not like i get to play with cool fun cards so i'm like i want to know some cards so i did some early prototyping of an interaction like different interaction ways that we can pull a card and um maybe we want to flip a card you know like how does a flip work so that's what I wanted to do right now. Like, let's let's try to let's try to do that together. Let's try to flip a card, pick a card, any card type of deal. So, we know through um, Adobe XD that we have this uh, free transform like tool, which is cool, which makes these brings a lot of life to these these you know still elements or you know one dimensional elements it really puts them on its own axis here and so like how do you take a card and flip it how do we go from this side to this side so have you ever done anything like this in xd brandon just yes. talk about yes you did nice so great so when i'm like i don't know how to do this i'm gonna ask you all right so, sweet we're gonna we're gonna tag team we're gonna tag team so ideally what i want to do is go from this element to the thing that I already lost behind it. Back element. How fun. I lose my time lost it. Here it is. So if I were to bring this up in uh is this not grouped? We group the card as is, and what I want to do is I want to maybe if I bring it up. This is my thought process, mm -hmm. right? Let me know, like, let me work through it, and like, then we'll talk about it. This is what I'm thinking. So if I bring it up an axis, doesn't it mean it's on a different? It's a little bit higher of a plane. Now what's missing is that back piece, that back part of the card. Now I think what I need to do is either take it off a different. In my head, it would make sense of it because it's on a different plane already. It would kind of yeah. flip with us, but I don't think that's how this works. Um, okay. So there's phase one. So they're on. It's kind of on. What if I did like a negative one axis? Is this going to work? I don't know, guys. Should. I don't know. Ah. It's a full group, fully grouped element, which I am in a fully grouped element. It doesn't work now. Why? But this well, that's is what good. I was going to suggest. That's that's interesting that it these doesn't. Are, yeah, that these are good questions to have. These are good like let's figure it out together moments. So that's that's something that we, you know, how what you could do. Know, yeah, go for it. Is um, you can make because I've had this issue too. You can kind of fake it rather than in the the group you have when it turns the yeah. first card. Yeah. Um, you turn the opacity down so it stops that weird overlap. But mm. it really shouldn't. Um, what you did, it should have. Uh, it's exactly what I was going to do. But I, I've had this this weird. Pro the 3D kind of is not 100% 3D. It yeah. does like some sort of um, some magic. And uh, when you're trying to do what you're doing. Um, I've had to kind of like create a, what I call like a, a hot fix, which is yeah, kind of rotate one, make it disappear and make the other one kind of mm. still rotate like you did, but turn the opacity from zero to a hundred. 
Mm, okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do that. Um, we going to figure it out, ladies and gentlemen. This is what the live is for. We work this out together. This is like the, the part where you're like, this is the nail biter. This is like we're on the, like, the last rounds, you know, like what's going to happen? <laughs> And then my other question is then how do we prototype this? That's the real, that's really what I want. That's what we all want. We all want to see this prototype. So can you do that? So that's what we want to happen. But what I wanted to, what I wanted to do is flip like flip. So do I, maybe I, what I need to do is do kind of a midway flip or have you ever prototyped a card flip? So uh, there's a couple ways you can, you can do it uh, click to, to flip just kind of exactly what we, yeah, you, the trigger is just a, a tap or you can do a hover one. Um, but we, we got time. We still have, what is yeah, it? We no, still have about 30, 25 the guys. Don't judge me on my math. I'm doing guesstimation. We have about like 20, 24 minutes. And we're, we're enough way through this that um, if anybody knows, I, I'm the, you know, the biggest culprit. I'm like midstream. I have no idea what I said what I was going to do on stream. So just bear with me and we figure it out together. Yeah, no, I, I like I like leaving this much room for like this be is this could this does this work let's see this looks like but this is also how i don't know this is like how this stuff works now that that stuff um let's see i think you can just do the two yeah there you go and okay. then just flip them the full like one 180. like put this one uh, no, so just do do uh erase the second one and just duplicate the yeah just delete and duplicate that and then just that card just mm -hmm. rotate it 180. okay let's do one. Another that way. boom and is that the group or that one card that's the group all right well maybe that works um now while you're doing that turn the opacity of that front card all the way to zero and let's see what happens with that Ooh. boom yeah, so, and there we go. That's really all we got to do. And I didn't know that, guys. <laughs> I We were working at it together. That is that right. is literally... Um, I love that. Yeah, that's I what we got to do. You know, we try. That's to, honestly, that is what we talked about together. Oh, like it looks method. so good. Wow. I love it. That's the best. Ooh, it's too slow. But I kind of like it dramatically going. So let's do it like, give it one second, a little slower. Ooh, wow. get out of here. Cody Bear says, boom, listen, ta-da, for those of you guys who've been watching my streams, OK? Uh, ta-da. It was it. very clean. Uma Corn comes into the chat with the A-OK -okay hand sign. <laughs> <laughs> and Alexa says, yeah, hey, boy. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I knew I was in good hands here. Okay, go. it's great, it's great. Also, what was the other one we really like? We like this idea too. This is kind of a cool like, concept. It's like, so right now we're just prototyping um, kind of like that micro interaction, right? Playing with some things. And I think this is a big part of your process too. Like just because you figured it out, that's awesome. It looks great. But like, is there other ways you can do it? Let's try it. Um, let's go down here and do it. And then Fergie is in here with uh, probably like the actual real solution. Um, she says, oh. <laughs> <laughs> she saves me a million and 12 times live. Okay, she Fergie. says, uh, flip them 180, then change the Z value. So the one you want on top is one and the back one is zero or negative one. So I guess it's uh, another that? way is to change the Z value on that second. Um, I thought I did that. Like, thought that's kind of how we started. Maybe yeah. I maybe I didn't start that. No, we way. did. We did, but we'd never change it on that second art. Uh, when we transition it, you want to change that back card the to Z one. 
Yeah. Well, let's let's do it the right way then, because Fergie's gonna keep us honest, and I love that. So that's the the way, and then this is the real way. This is at a one, kinda, and why it's not exactly a one. And then it's a boom. The opacity though, that's what we're working with. Let's go back and and this card. This is the card that needs to go with the one. I kind of like, it's the thing is like, you really gotta make your head spin on its axis to figure out like axis, axes, axes. Yeah, I I don't know, but you know, I, there's a million and 12 different ways to do uh, one particular thing. And at the end of the day, this is being sent to a developer for you guys to talk and be like, listen, all you need to do is turn that zone around 180 degrees. Can we do that? They'll probably say yes. If not, tell them to go to YouTube and learn that really quickly. That one looked, um, <laughs> that one looked uh, more clean. You gotta admit. There you go. Boom. It's a little weird thing happening, but that one versus this one. Oh, I don't know. Both look good. Just a little bit of a opacity moment, and then there's a weird little like kind of lag in between. But that's probably 100. We got options. Fault. Got options. We'll make that perfect. We'll make that perfect. Um, <clears throat> that's cool. Big fan. Thank you for ye. <laughs> fun. So fun. I love learning on the job. I feel like that's, that's what we do. I feel like that's the true spirit of UX, right? Just learn it. Learn it on the job. I told my boss I said that. <laughs> It's learning on the job and then having the confidence to learn how to sell it as you knew what you were doing. That's exactly. that's real. That is real right there, ladies and gentlemen. If you can do that, you can do anything. Not gonna lie, man. Like that's really what you're here for. We all know that's the that's those are the streams that the best types of streams is gotta, gotta change it up. real story that we learn how to do is oh i don't know what i'm doing but i know the story that i need to tell to make it seem as if i know what i'm doing yeah and if you think about it like it's like this stuff is like there was no ux design prior to like like this wasn't a thing no one ever thought they'd be doing you know what i mean so like no one's above it like yeah. everyone's just figuring it out in the moment mm-hmm well, not in the moment, but like figuring out period and the, the industry is figuring itself out. That's yeah, cool. and it's strange like that. the speed everything is nowadays. You literally have to learn every day. There is no, I got exactly. it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. No so I'm here to just like take away the gate, the gate. I'm throwing everyone, I'm throwing the key away. The gate is fully down. This is a true, honest, I got experience and we're here for it. We're here for it. Yes. So, so we have about you... yeah. Go for it. Fifteen, ten-ish minutes. So, what are we going to wrap up with today? It looks like we're trying to get the card flipping situation. What do you think we're gonna muster in the next 10, 15 minutes? Yeah, I'm just gonna mock up another uh, another kind of like option for what this route this interaction could be right is it just like pull from you know there are going to be a couple of moments here where it like basically i'm gonna i'm gonna play with this idea right like cards we're gonna play with them have some fun you know like it's a single card we know that's the game so is it pulling and being surprised is it sifting through them and then maybe maybe selecting and maybe everything grays out maybe it's more like a Make it more like a Tinder swipe vibe. So yeah. that's what I was gonna kind of play around with at the end. But like, if we're at the end, we're at the end, and I'm cool with that. Also, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
There's Laura a, says she's go yeah. ahead. No, no, no. Is there any um that tomorrow is a big share of the other of another the spotlight? Yeah, we're not tomorrow, spotlighting we anyone. The spotlight tomorrow, and Laura says she's super excited for tomorrow's stream and to see this in hi fi. Ooh, me too. Me too. I kind of like this option here. This weird option where like maybe you come across a card and you know flip it your way. What if I want this here? <laughs> so do you like that I work sometimes very, very far away from the canvas? <laughs> I do. I notice that sometimes. You got to see everything. Hey. Let's see what this looks like. Do you think this would still work? Well, let's see. If I were to go through, aha, if I were to go through this, get in there, just get in there. Okay. <laughs> just like go in the thing, go where you're supposed to go. Um, let's be like, kind of like this. Got a nice so, scroll group in there. Scroll group, and then we're gonna. Oof, this might be real bad. <laughs> oh, it kind of worked. Okay, cool. So, that's cool. I'm really figuring this out right now. Let's do that. You guys want my bad stuff? I want to just triple it. All right, so we get the vibe. Anyway, so. There's other options here. Maybe we're going through it like this. Maybe we're shuffling, pulling from the deck. Maybe we are swiping through like Tinder, but I'll just walk us through. So we have a, just like our flow diagram, we have in a login, maybe page, main menu. We have an option to, these are really the real important pieces here. Are we gonna start a journey and play, play this game? Are we going to go directly to a level? Are we going to let it pick a random card for us? Um, these are the options for that. Go to a card, here's a level. Here is, maybe this is a mock of the game. We're not really going to do that, but you know, maybe this is what the game could look like. Um, we had some options and playing around with some options here of what the card interaction can be. We played with a flip interaction today, flippy flip. And then we mocked up like a sharing element would look like, right? Like, is it, how do we want to share this card? And I think, I think it's really going to come, come together. Um, so that's exciting. The other thing we're going to do tomorrow is look at inspiration and how we find inspiration and what, what elements of the inspiration we can really apply. Um, I was talking earlier about utilizing an asymmetrical grid, um, which kind of, have been not necessarily not, but it's uh, it's a part of this that you know it's not expressed at all in our wireframes. You know anything visual it isn't expressed. So what what can we do with that? Um, so that's going to be fun. And yeah, we've talked a lot about inspiration and reference. We talked a little bit about you know what we're really trying to build here. We're trying to share. Uh, are we trying to play a game in real time with someone else? maybe you're in the same room, maybe you're not. Are we trying to share a singular experience that you're having with someone else? So you read this card, you want to send it. Um, and then how do we extend a card game experience into the digital world? So I think this one, this is a good first day, really tackling all the different elements of what we need to do. And, uh, and yeah, chat, you, I'm glad you stayed with us. I'm really happy you're here. Um, that's, that's the goal here. I think we did good first day. We did we did quite a bit. We I've, no, first off, I think the helpfulness of the having the main flow just allowed us to like build everything out and know exactly what we need. And the chat got to help us with putting together 
the type of functionality that the cards have, which is awesome. Thank you guys. Yeah. And so, so yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have a good time tomorrow. Oof. We also went over plugins, which is always a fun, fun discussion. We went through whiteboards. We, we figured out that I'm using this quick mock-up theme, minimal uh, plugin to help kind of just build out some elements. Um, they also have, you know, all different types of themes that are really awesome. This is a little more moody and dark. Um, this one's a little bit more like kind of what we see a lot, where it's a solid color. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of also similar to maybe what the game also alludes to, right? A very, like a red and white basic tone um, where the words are really highlight the highlight. I think, yeah, I think it's going to be really good. We have to build, one thing we are missing is we're missing a menu, kind of what that menu is going to look like, which mm -hmm. we can probably build right now really quick, but still, we have like a couple minutes. Yeah, we're still good on time. I will say my, uh, I have posted, uh, I want to say like maybe 10 to 15 guests and I still forget what time we end. So, <laughs> <laughs> and I've had many a time where I'll have it in my ear, like um, we're done or we still have 10 minutes. And I'll be like, oh, I think we have about like five. Uh, and if, we, yeah, I think, I think we have five, we should. Well, it's one of those things where, like, you want the conversations to go so organically, right? You, like, yeah. don't want it. There's no, like, stalling, like, a good organic conversation or, like, pushing it ahead. So it's a fine art. What you're doing is an art form. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> 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 um, I use these I use these streams where I'm guests to kind of just, like, air out all the things that happen to me when I'm a host. And yeah. it's fun. We can slap in that menu real quick and then we'll do our little closing in about uh, about two minutes. So really, really, you have like a minute and a half <laughs> Two two minutes. We'll give it. Love it. Well, did you have fun today? Did you have a good time? <laughs> I always have a good time. Oh, good, good. And I hope you did as well. I'm really excited to see how this turns out tomorrow. And uh, there's tons of people in the chat saying, thank you so much for the stream. Cornell is saying, I got to go. Thanks for the stream. See you guys tomorrow. And if you guys are going to join us tomorrow, I know Cody has already set you up on what time we are going to be here tomorrow. It's same time, same place. And if you guys are curious on, you know, really not having to think about what time we started today, super simple. Just go down below this video. We have the Adobe Live schedule. Um, and you guys can go to what we have for if you guys want to join us for the next segment of Adobe Live, which is the re-watching of the Daily Creative Challenge from last week with me. So if you want to join that, they are the reruns, re join the challenges there. And uh, yeah, also a new awesome, unless it might not be new, it might have been something that we have. Um, you guys can also add the segments of Adobe Live that you want to come and watch to your calendar now to your google calendar apple calendar things of that nature um so we have amazing easy functionality for you guys to just add the videos to your calendar you get notified when we go live um and uh, don't forget to subscribe whether you're on youtube and uh subscribe to the i mean you guys are on behance but you see the little subscribe piece on the right side of your screen if you're on desktop don't forget to subscribe so you get a notification when Adobe Live is going on. And we'll be back same time, same place uh, tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. PT. So um, yeah, that's the announcements. We have about one more minute. Uh, we've cleared everything up, but again, stay tuned for the next segment of uh, Daily Creative Challenge, the XD Daily Creative Challenge, if you haven't seen the last two weeks of that. And uh, I think that goes off into August 20th or the 26th, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's the 20th. But we have some really cool challenges there, and I hope you to see even more of those in our uh, Adobe Community Discord. So that's that's a great wrap. Uh, that's up. it. Awesome. So we have one minute here. Is there anything that you would like to close us out with, Alexis? I see you very quickly threw in that that menu there. 
But uh, anything you would like to end with us today on? Yeah, I think um, I think uh, we did great. I can't wait to come back tomorrow. And thank you so much for sitting with us. And have a great day, everyone. All right. That's, well, that's my takeaway here. All right, guys. Well, do make sure to follow Alexis down on Behance down below. And also, Cody Bear has also dropped her amazing website down below. But other than that, um, we'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. And we'll see you then. Take it easy. Bye, guys. Okay.